Well, I've just been wondering. First of all, I'll tell you it's the 30th of November. Less than an hour away from the 1st of December. So it's late night. Samuel, this is for you. And maybe for a lot of other people too. Um, I love the New Testament. So sometimes you just want to get to it. Just get to the meat. So. Understand ye, people, that it is my intention to share the Book of Mormon with you. Now, what's real important to know is that there's all kinds of different things that's important, as in Jesus Christ, his role in our lives. And the fact that in every single scripture, I mean book of scripture, Jesus Christ is there, okay? In the Old Testament, it talks about the Savior that's going to come into the world. It tells about the Virgin Mary and how she conceived that Jesus Christ is half mortal and half immortal. I mean, that should be a standard thought in your head. Probably is. I don't know. So far, I know I've got a girlfriend that doesn't know much about Jesus Christ. And there's so much to know. So I'm going to endeavor to do some reading in the New Testament, okay? I know if I were to go back, and I did find... I've got a hold of a, a Mormon doctrine. So I could look that up probably, probably by subject matter. I'd like to know where Jesus Christ is first talked about in the Old Testament, but I don't want to read the Old Testament to find out. That's hard reading, people. So. I will endeavor, but I'm not sure how far I'm going to get because, you know, I have different things I want to do with my channel. Reading of the scriptures really was not one of them. <laughs> it's just that it happened, okay? It just happens to be important. Important. So, we will endeavor. I know that um, they say the reading of the nativity of Jesus Christ being born and stuff, they usually go to the book of Luke. I don't know why, but it's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So Luke is three uh, books in, and they all have several chapters. And I'm just not the best reader, and I'm not necessarily of a mind to read scriptures. However, if that's the only way to get you guys to listen to some of them, it's just that there's so many people out there reading the scriptures already. You know, I know that I have a special calling. Not from those people here on earth, but I have a special calling that came with me before I was born here to teach the Book of Mormon. Very important book. Now, it's not telling you not to believe the other scriptures. And if you already know the other scriptures, the more power to you. Because they go together. It's like a big old puzzle. Okay? Lots of puzzle pieces and pulling them all together. There's so much. I mean, I think you can be studying the scriptures until you die and still learn something new almost every day. It's just different layers like the onion. Layers and layers and palm layers. So I thought I would just endeavor to um, start with Matthew. Let's see what he has to say. 
Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are considered the four Gospels. Okay. They were, <clears throat> they were apostles of Jesus Christ. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And I'm not of a perfect knowledge. I know that John the Beloved is the one who wrote Revelation, the book of Revelation. I used to call it the book of Revelations, but I did. It's not. <laughs> you leave the S off. So anyway, my hair needs to be washed again. Seems to be needing that quite often. Um, I always just thought that the Book of, uh, not the Book of Mormon, the Old Testament just seemed like it was mean. Talk about the wrath of God, stuff like that. However, you find that it's just like being a parent. You've got, you know, you've got to do the giving of the rules. And they have to obey the rules or they get punished or or then there wouldn't be a need to have any rules if you didn't have you know I'm trying to say I don't think you do but there's a lot that goes with that you must obey the rules and sometimes it's okay to step outside of the rules I don't know how to explain that and so for it's there's exceptions to the rule and sometimes you got to fight on someone else's level. That's that statement that Jesus Christ made to his apostles when he sent them out to teach. He told them to be as wise as a serpent and as harmless as a dove. So that's the same with our lives, the same with anything. You need to be as wise as they are. Just don't do what they do, but be aware of what's right around the corner for you. I had to rhyme. Seems like they come quite a bit these days. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start since I said I would. We'll see how this goes, because I don't necessarily read very well, be forewarned. And when you want to look up stuff that I've read, then you want to say, New Testament. And I'm going to be reading the whole chapter. So it'll be chapter one, New Testament, chapter two. No. I got that wrong already. It's the New Testament, but say we're doing Matthew. So it's Matthew chapter 1, Matthew chapter 2, Matthew chapter 3. And instead of writing the word chapter, we'll just put a, a 1, and then a 2, and then a 3 as we go on in. So I'm just going to try this. I don't know how well I can read the New Testament. We'll give it a look-see, okay? So, the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Well, they're going to call him a saint. Okay. Chapter 1. Christ is born of Mary. She conceives by the power of the Holy Ghost. Our Lord is named Jesus. Verse 1. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham, Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Judas and his brethren. And Judas begat Berries and Zerah of Thamar, and Berries begat Ezram, and Ezram begat Aram, Aram, and Aram begat Amenadab, Amenadab, and Amenadab begat Nasan, and Nasan begat Salmon, and Salmon begat Booz of Racheb, and Booz begat Obed of Ruth, and Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David, 
and the king and David the king begets Solomon. Okay, I read that weird. And Jesse begat David the king, and David the king begat Solomon of her that had been the wife of Urias. And Solomon begat Roboam, and Roboam begat Abia, and Abia begat Asia, and Asia begat Josephat, and Josephat begat Joram, and Joram begat Ozias, and Ozias begat Joatham, and Joatham begat Hs, and Hs begat Ezek. I don't know what that word is. E z e k i a s. Ezekias. And Ezekias begat Manasseh, and Manasseh begat Ammon, and Ammon begat Jos Josias, and Josias begat Jechemus, and his brethren, about the time that they were carried away to Babylon. About the time they were carried away to Babylon. And after they were brought to Babylon, Jechonias begat Salathiel, and Salathiel begat Zorobabel, and Zorobabel begat Abuid, and Abuid begat Elakim, and Elakim begat Azor. Craziness in the head. And Azor begat Zadok and Zadok begat Achim and Achim begat Elud and Elud begat Eleazar Eleazar begat Mathan and Mathan begat Jacob and Jacob begat Joseph the husband of Mary of whom was born Jesus who was called Christ So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David unto the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. <coughs> 14 generations. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. Okay, how did that work? Generations from Abraham to David are 14. And from David to the carrying away into Babylon are 14. And from carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14. So there are three 14 generations. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary to wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she, sh <clears throat> and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him 
and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Well, that's Matthew 1. wonder what happens if I go into Matthew 2. So many verses. There's 23. You know what? I might just go ahead and read two chapters. We'll go ahead and do Matthew chapter 2. The wise men are directed by a star to Jesus. Joseph takes the child to Egypt. Herod slays the children in Bethlehem. Jesus is taken to Nazareth to dwell. <clears throat> Verse 1. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. Of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he said, let's see, and he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt. And be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, out of Egypt have I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceedingly wroth and sent forth and slew all the children 
that were in Bethlehem and in all the, co all the coasts thereof from two years old and under according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, In Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted, because they are not. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead which sought the young child's life. And he arose and took the young child and his mother and and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus did reign in Judea in the room of his father, Herod, he was afraid to go thither, notwithstanding being warned of God in a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee and he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene. Okay, that's the end of chapter 2. Now, I'm going to stop there because I can feel me wanting to go to sleep. And I did just take some melatonin, so that would make sense too, right? I have a hard time going to sleep. I'm not getting enough sleep. And you know, here it comes, all these things, when you start studying online a bunch of different things, okay? Um, one of the things for you to not lose your hair is sleeping long enough. And I never have slept long enough. And now I'm taking this these injections and this uh, infusion thing. I think it's the injections that I have to worry about. And I got a little bit of a heads up from somebody that worked there that I really need to read the literature and I really need to research and find out because she said, you know, there's something because there's something to to do with kidney failure. I mean, long-term side effects of this medicine that I'm getting or something you would call medicine, which might just be called poison. Um, I don't want to say anything bad about anything, but I certainly don't want to be unaware of things that could be like kidney failure. That means dialysis. That means bad stuff. That cat's over there laying on its back with its legs all curled up, cute. Oh. Oh. So I'm sorry, I'm yawning, okay? But I will, I will endeavor to do some reading in the New Testament, because the, uh, the Old Testament tells about the Savior that's gonna come into the world, but the New Testament, he's here. Finally, he's here. And then he'll be taken away. You know, when the crucifixion comes, he'll be taken away. So, we'll just do us some learning about this baby called Jesus, okay? It's just been born. These wise men have followed a star. They've traveled afar. And they followed the star to the stable where Jesus was born, the King of Kings. And they brought frankincense and myrrh, and I think, didn't they say gold? <sighs> and Herod was afraid of him. 
that he 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 had all those babies killed two year two years old and younger I think is what I just read and I'm pretty sure it would just be the boys so all the boys were killed such horrible things that people do but anyway so there you go oh well, I'm ready to go to bed so I will just say you guys take care and I will be back with something from somewhere <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But maybe I'll just stick with uh, Matthew. But see, now you've gotten me off my trail. I haven't finished what I was doing. What was it I was reading? <sighs> That's terrible because I don't... Oh, First Nephi. First Nephi and I need to read chapter 15, I believe. So, I don't want to get too scattered about that I don't know what I'm doing, okay? Chapter 3 of Matthew is John the Baptist preaches in Judea. Jesus is baptized and the Father acclaims him as his beloved son. Okay, that's Matthew 3. But we're not going to do it tonight. I'm going to bed. I... Oh, I need to get sleep. I'm not really good at that. And so, yeah, I was telling you a little bit ago, it's supposed to be good for, if you're losing your hair, it helps to get, they want you to get eight hours of sleep. I don't know if I can do that. But it's good in fighting off disease, too. And cancer, too. Cancer is a pretty big disease, I would think. So... Well, hopefully everybody's going to have a very nice, peaceful, beautiful Christmas. And I don't know. I do know I'm ready to go to bed, though, so sweet dreams, y'all. I am going to say sayonara. Brother Ben. Yeah, I've waited a little bit too long. My tickets are going to be too expensive for flying. Okay, I'm going to be stopping you here before long. I just